Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to do a follow-up experiment to our last video with the laser. Uh, we had a very good question of how deep does the laser penetrate through a hand. And so just a reminder, last time this was a, about 370 milliwatts of power in a 829 nanometer wavelength from eBay. And so what I'm going to do is put my entire palm over the sensor, try to block that out 100% so you can see it's 0, 0.0. And the units are going to be in microwatts, which is, you know, a thousand microwatts equals one milliwatt. And so the scale of the units is very low, but, you know, the sensor is very sensitive. So originally I wasn't even going to bother doing this experiment because we know, you know, I just measured my hand. It's about three centimeters thick. And so we know most of the light, even from a near infrared, 90% of it gets absorbed within the first 10 millimeters of thickness and only 10 percent can go beyond that so only a very trace amount we would even expect to make it all the way through a hand but anyway let's try it out anyway so we've got the light on and you can see as i'm kind of hovering it over it does bump up to 1.5 uh, microwatts so we do get a little bit of penetration when we're hovering it over then when I take it away it goes back down to zero so there is some penetration that's that's occurring when I'm waving the light over as I get closer you get the number you might get the number a little bit higher up up around to two microwatts so we get a very trace amount that's potentially penetrating through uh, the palm of my hand so this seems to be a, the highest measurement when I'm touching the skin and now I'm going to start to press into the skin. And so we can see with the skin compression, it does double or triple. That penetration amount went from about 2 up to about 6.8, almost 7. So we can see with the skin contact, we did pretty much triple the penetration. Again, it's only a trace amount. But, we, you know, when we can take it off, it goes back down to 0. Okay, since we're doing this experiment anyway, we're going to test our new Gemba Red Proxy handheld LED panel. So it's got 17 LEDs with 810, 830, and 660 wavelengths. And we'll just see if we can repeat that experiment. Okay, so I have the sensor perfectly covered. And now we're going to press this on the skin and we get 4.5 microwatts. So we do get pretty decent penetration with this LED panel. Kind of moving it around to see. Oh, now I get seven, eight. So we get pretty close to what the laser was doing. And this is technically more power, but it's lower kind of intensity because it's spread over more LEDs and more area. Okay, so we're also going to try the Vector 810 and 1050. So now this has two wavelengths, and the sensor is kind of calibrated, you know, best for a single wavelength, but we kind of can do with the average of the two wavelengths. So the average of 1050 and 810 is 930. So that's what I set it to, to try to average out the uh, error there. And so we get similar, we get 9.2 microwatts. Again, it's, you know, a very trace amount, but, you know, it is definitely something measurable. And we can press it right on the skin. We press it harder and we get a little bit more. Press it less, you know, and we get a little less. So, you know, you get a little bit, you know, get that firm contact and firm compression and you can get, you know, a little bit more out of it. And so that's it. Thanks for your questions. We do have a couple of blogs on the Gimbal Red website. You know, we'll put in the description that go over, you know, the different aspects of how penetration works in terms of intensity with skin contact and wavelengths. Um, so those are very important to, to go over and understand the truth of how penetration actually works. Uh, but this was an interesting experiment. Thanks for tuning in.